Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. We're talking about powerful collection letters. We're talking about stopping, stopping these collectors in their tracks, all right? Ceasing all collection activities, okay? So you're probably wondering, you're saying, hey, you know, I wanna know what's in this validation letter, okay? What's in these letters that you send to the bureaus demanding, all right? These unverified items be removed. Sending your collection validation letters to the collectors. Well, we've got a letter right here I'm gonna talk about. It's two pages because it's got a lot of good hard hitting Fair Debt Collection Practices Act information in here. So this letter is sent to the collectors. You can send this when you see a collection on your credit reports and or you get a letter from the collector saying, well, you know, if we don't hear back from you in 30 days, we're going to assume this is yours. This is a dunning letter you get from the collectors. So you can send this to the collectors if you see something on the credit reports or if they send you a letter, this is what you can send to them in addition to sending your 609 dispute letters to the credit bureaus. So, and this has been helpful to individuals. People have sent this and collectors have sent back saying, we're going to cease all collection activity. We're going to remove this negative unverified collection from your credit reports. And it may take the credit bureaus 30 to, you know, 45 days to update. So I've seen that from the collectors. Okay. Sometimes the collectors don't send that letter and they just delete it from the credit reports, but this is very powerful stuff. So this letter is a dispute directly to the collectors. Okay. Demanding, demanding, Validation under the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act 15 USC 1692 G section 809B. Okay, that their claim, that your claim is disputed. Okay, so they need to provide information to you. Now, such information that can be provided, which we've have bullet points right here, they need to be able to provide what that they say they owe you, that you owe, right? The money that you supposedly are, they need to be able to sh show this, how they calculate this amount, where they get this from, who the original creditor is, and how they have some agreement between them and the original creditor and you. Where does it say that I am to be paying you this collection? How does this, how do you calculate all this? And you've gotta be able to send papers, documentation, provide any copies of any documents, papers that show such an agreement, okay? They've got to be able to substantiate this. Where are the contracts? Where are the papers? Where are the signatures? These types of things need to be sent, okay? Prove, prove that the statutes of limitation, the statutes of limitation have not expired, okay? That the statute of limitation have not expired. The statute of limitation for the reporting for the collection show the license okay show the license that they're supposed to have to be able to collect in your state now not every state requires a license but if they do they need to provide that and provide a license number if they have the license and registered agent or agent of service okay you need all this information now at this time the letter says at this time I'm informing you that if you have put any unverified, inaccurate, unvalidated, inaccurate information in my three credit reports, okay, this could potentially be a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, federal and state laws, okay? Due to this, if you have done something like this, right, and you don't correct it, and of course, it's not legal advice, but you have that right to pursue this further, violations of Fair Credit Reporting Act, violations of Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, defamation of character, okay? So they've got 30 days after they get this letter, and during that 30 days, the collection activity is supposed to cease. No more collection activities until they complete their investigation. So if they start playing around with your credit report, and then they say, oh, well, well we still need more time to investigate, and you're saying, well, you already changed some things on my credit report. You didn't complete the investigation. You didn't send me anything in the mail. You didn't tell me that you need more time before you started messing with my credit reports, that's another potential violation, okay? You're also in this letter, okay? It says, don't be calling, okay? Don't be calling me, don't be uh, calling me anymore. I want all future communication, must be done in writing, in the mail, okay? In the mail. Now, if they call, right, outside the parameters that or are per the Fair Credit Reporting Act for a Debt Collection Practice Act, that could be another potential violation, okay? This information, 
30 days from when they get the letters, they're supposed to send you back the response in the mail. If they fail to verify, if they fail to validate, if they fail to respond within 30 days, you're demanding, you're saying, hey, I'm demanding all references to this account to be deleted and completely removed from my credit report. And such deletion, such a deletion, such a copy of a deletion to be sent to me, okay? And sent to the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, okay? This right here, this validation letter, this is one of our very powerful validation letters. We have rounds of validation letters. We have rounds of dispute letters to the bureaus, to the collectors, which you can get at 609creditrepair.com. Get that beyond committed package, or we can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com. All right, please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button and that bell for notifications for when I go live. I'll be going live on the weekend, but having a good time answering your questions. If you have any comments, questions, you can put them here in the comments. I get back to the comments, the questions, the emails. I make the videos for you here on this channel. So hit that subscribe, try button, that bell for notifications. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.